Hey everybody, it's Daddy Fat Snaps, and today we're going to talk about my favorite fusion rifle, the Plan C. The Plan C? Aren't you forgetting about Ash Raven's Flight? The Ash Raven's Flight? You better be kidding me. Haven't you guys heard of a fusion rifle called the Vacancy? You know what? We're just going to talk about all of them. How about that? Give me one job. Man, I'm really digging this camera. I'm really glad I got it. Hey everybody, Daddy Fat Snaps again coming with another video. Hold on, before I get into this, I do want to say, because I know you guys have been waiting, the next video is going to be a rap battle. So, don't worry, I'm working on it. Maybe not, mm, I, don't, I got some good footage of something else, so I don't know if I want to kind of throw that in there. But the really close next video is going to be um, a rap battle. Now that I got that out the way. As I'm sure you already know, fusion rifles are actually good again. And if you have um, any doubt about how capable they are, uh, go check out actually this guy, um, QAA51MB. I think something like Yeah, that's it, that's it. Um, he is a uh, YouTuber. He puts out content every day pretty much. Amazing. He kills it with the fusion rifles. He's been, he actually started using it before the April update, maybe just to get prepared for it, but amazing skill. So if you want somebody to check out right away, that's your guy. But today, it's about me and you. Me and you. We're going to talk about my favorite three fusion rifles. So I'm going to be talking about, you know, breaking them down a little bit and also why they made the list. And I wanted to make sure it was kind of balanced because I know, you know, not everybody kind of started in the same, uh, you know, I, I mean, I've been there since day one. I know everybody hasn't been that way. Um, so I, I gave you guys a couple of options as well, um, not intentionally because these really are my favorite three options, but something nice to think about. Uh, one of them, you'll have to get through, you know, a drop um, or a zer. Uh, the other one, um, same kind of thing, it's an iron banner weapon. Um, hopefully you picked it up uh, the last, I think it was two iron banners ago uh, when uh, they were selling it. It was an amazing roll. And um, three, you can actually go out and purchase it. So you got a couple of options. Um, and you don't have to worry about you know not being able to pick up anywhere. Either, at least one of these options you're able to have it today, if you have the marks for it, of course. So at number three, we have the Vacancy, a uh, slower charging, super high impact fusion rifle. So what makes this fusion rifle special? So what makes this fusion rifle special? That's like a tongue twister, it's fusion rifle, fusion rifle special. Number one, high impact. This thing hits like a truck. And it's amazing because I like to use hand cannons. It's my favorite kind of weapon. I don't know. Just my thing. So, um, so with hand cannons, a lot of times it's really, really easy cleanup. Um, because even if I miss a few bolts, I can get in there really quickly and just finish them off. Even with a body shot, sometimes that's all you need. This gun also has amazing stability. So like I said before, the grouping is going to be really tight. So you'll be able to pull off some, some pretty... Some shots that make you want to apologize to the person afterwards. Um, something that's kind of overlooked about this gun is it has great handling. So um, when you're using it, it just feels good. It feels like an extension of your arm. You know what I mean? So um, you know, kind of like a, you know, the other great gun that did this was Fatebringer. How it just it just feels right. You know what I mean? Um, so that's one thing that this has going for it. Not so much talked about, but you know, it's just it's, it's noticeable. It's definitely noticeable when you use it and you pick up another fusion rifle. And last but not least, of course. Um, it just doesn't make or break a gun, to be honest with you. I'm a firm believer in stats, um, but it has great perks. Hot swap um, is very, very handy for getting some additional accuracy. And um, what's that other perk? Uh, range finder. It's only going to push your range even further. So, I mean, that combination has great synergy. Again, uh, range and more range, um, along with, you know, being a slower, slower charging but high impact fusion rifle with great stability. It just makes for a great combination. The next fusion rifle on this list is going to be the Ash Raven's Flight. I mean, really, this gun, if you look at its, um, its charge time and impact, it's a legendary Plan C. Not only that, it's my most used option because it doesn't uh, make you have to give up a, uh, an exotic primary. You know, you can still use your exotic primary and get the benefits 
uh, uh, an amazingly uh, stat infusion rifle. I feel like this gun, it allows for more improvisation. You know, I can, um, I can mix it up a little bit with this one. I don't have to necessarily be worried so much about my positioning. I can focus on uh, the target a little bit more uh, rather than having to take into account my surroundings, um, you know, where I'm at. I have to do that a lot with other fusion rifles. This allows me to kind of get the jump on people. So this isn't gonna apply to everyone. I know you may have gotten yours in a drop, um, but mine is uh, one that has hidden hand and uh, hot swap. So same perk as the vacancy has, which makes it, I mean, I love it. Again, adds a little bit of range, nothing too crazy, but it does give you uh, a little bit of an edge. Personally, the way that I have mine set up um, is gonna give me a, a good balance between range and stability. I like rifle barrel on this fusion rifle just because um, it allows me to mix it up, um, again, like I was saying before, it allows me to keep that um, on my toes kind of approach, um, you know, especially uh, because it doesn't have as much impact as a vacancy and as much stability. I want the bolts to get there. I want them to get there quick. You know, I'm going to need that um, in a lot of these situations where, uh, you know, somebody's going to be coming after me with a shotgun. You know, I need to be ready and I need to be able to um, adapt quickly and that where, that's where that quicker charge time um, and the, I mean, decently high impact is, is gonna really shine. Now, last but not least, I got the plan for you. You guys know I love this gun. I just did a rap uh, review on it, you know, so I have a, I got, it's got a, a soft place in my heart for uh, one of my favorite weapons in the game. So, let me actually walk you through this one uh, a little bit more. Uh, just because, you know, obviously everybody gets the same plan C. There's no um, opportunity for different roles. Um, you know, so um, I think, I think, yeah, yeah, showing you what I do with this loadout and why, just really quickly, um, we'll kind of give you an idea of how I like to use this. So first off, I start with Smart Drift Control. Smart Drift Control is great because it keeps the, um, the recoil up. You know, if you, uh, if you watch any videos or um, you, you see any of the videos that I have of me using it, you'll notice that the recoil pretty much travels straight up. Again, with fusion rifles, that's very, very important uh, just because you do want to be aiming at, sometimes, again, the further they're out, the lower I'll aim. So if they're, you know, 25 feet out, I'm probably going to start at their feet. You know what I mean? If they're 10 feet out, I might start at their groin area. You know what I mean? So um, having that straight up recoil ends up being so important um, in those clutch situations. So, now I know this gun actually has uh, hip fire as well, the perk. I don't really find myself using that very often unless they're right on top of me, especially considering, um, you know, I wanna, if, especially if they're a little bit further out, 15, 20 feet, I wanna be aiming low and then kinda guiding that as it goes up. It's a lot harder to do that in hip fire, so I don't really use that um, option too often unless I'm getting rushed, but I mean, it's nice to know that it's there. Now this is where it gets important because I know most people um, will go with, uh, typically it's Perfect Balance or Hammer Forged. Um, the reason why I choose Hammer Forged is kind of what I've been talking about before. I want the bolts to get there quickly. And again, this is just me um, in play tests. Um, really, just like I said in my last video, you gotta try and see what works for you. To be honest with you, the choice between um, Perfect Balance or Hammer Forged, I mean, Really, it's, it's apple and or, apples and oranges. You know, it's gonna be up to you. Personally, I found more success with Hammer Forge, but again, I do know the benefit of having uh, stability on a fusion rifle. So if you feel more comfortable uh, with, a, with a stability boost and aren't as good at controlling the recoil, by all means, use Perfect Balance. But for me, um, I gotta go Hammer Forge. And then last but not least, the reason the Plan C is just, again, the Plan C perk. That gun, I mean, really it essentially turns it into a shotgun um, that you have cocked and loaded for whenever somebody wants to try to rush you. And you'll see um, in a lot of my videos, I use that perk quite a bit. Really, I had to retrain myself uh, to keep my primary out uh, for you know extended periods of time and to only pull out the Plan C uh, when I know um, I have the advantage. But in order to get the real benefit of the Plan C, um, you have to use this perk because then again, you might as well use Ash Raven's Flight. Um, if not, you know, you're going to be giving up your primary exotic. So you got to make sure that you're putting this perk to work. Again, it makes you a, um, a very, very dangerous close range threat. Um, and, you know, again, when you need to uh, kind of spread it out a little bit, you can pull it out and kind of charge that shot um, when they have a little bit of distance on your target. 
So, thank you guys again for joining me. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this new format, making these videos for you guys. Um, I want to keep, again, I want to keep the, the uh, quality very professional. So, if there's anything, any comments that you guys have, any, you know, things you think that I can do to help improve it a little bit more, I'm all ears. Again, I remember if you, if you go back to my first video on here, um, I mean, really, it, it's a night and day, and that's from your guys' feedback and kind of telling me, um, you know, uh, just giving me suggestions and kind of pushing me along. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, again, have a good day.